once again, welcome to Story Time. This is the end of season two. Uh, it's actually episode number five. So let's go out with a with a with a big story. And it was a big story of uh, the end of the '80s. All right, 1989, and it had to do with the Rolling Stones. Now, here's what happened, and I'll tell you because I was there. Now, back in 1989, cell phones were getting to be popular in the cars. You didn't have the handheld, you know? If you did, they were like really big. So normally we had them uh, installed right on our cars because I remember talking to Mike Sperndle, the late Mike Sperndle who owned Toad's Place, a good man. Uh, and he called me on that Saturday morning, August the 12th. He goes, and he had a gruff voice to you, why? Laffy, you got to come down to the club tonight. It's Jimmy's birthday, meaning Jimmy Coplick. We're going to have a big party for him. I said, well, yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely coming down. I can't tell you who's going to be there, though. He was the kind of guy that we, it was hard for him to keep his secret, though he did. And uh, I said, okay, I'll definitely go down there. He says, get there early. I get there early. And this is exactly how it happened. Got to Toad's place. It was about 6 o'clock, 6.30. I go inside. I see Wigmaster, and I see Sam T, our, our old Sam T. Inside Toad's place. I'm going, okay, something's going on. Again, this is 1989. You know, it, it, news didn't travel as fast as it does today. And uh, all the phones are duct taped down with a bouncer standing by the pay phones. Obviously, we didn't have cell phones, uh, you know, handheld phones. And I'm going, okay, something's going on here. I got to find out what's going on. Wiki comes up to me and goes, Stones, going to do an hour here at Toad's. I says, get out of here. There's no nope, Stones are coming down. So then I got all excited, and I went outside, I took a look around, knowing the guy through the front door, they let me back in, as long as you didn't want to say anything. But the story was, is when the Stones bus came down York Street, if they saw a huge crowd of people, the bus would have kept on going. They wouldn't have gone in. They were rehearsing in up in Washington, Connecticut, at one of the girls' schools there, I can't remember the name of it, and this was the beginning of the um, Steel Wheels tour. And they do, this is typical Stones, we'll go to a small club, do the act uh, just for rehearsal. Uh, that's a band, to this very day, they take a month out before they go out and, and rehearse. So, so there it was. Uh, uh, I'm so excited about that. Sure enough, the bus pulls in, and I see the Stones coming off, and the first thing that I noticed about them is how tiny they are in, in stature. You think of these guys are giants because of you know who they are, but they're actually very small men. You know, under five seven, five six. And uh, as we kind of escort them down into the backstage area and downstairs in the dressing room, uh, they couldn't have been any nicer. You know, they're just great guys. And I didn't say anything. I just kind of stood there in the corner and just and just watched in awe. Uh, and then they came up and. Uh, Mike Spurndle and Jimmy Coplick into the band. I think it was Mike that said, ladies and gentlemen, and Jimmy Coplick, which was his birthday, said the Rolling Stones. And they did about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Now, you'll see posters uh, saying Rolling Stones at Toad's Place with Sons of Bob. All of those posters came out after the fact. That wasn't before the fact. That's false, okay? And as far as Sons of Bob go, now I remember that band, but I don't really remember them playing. And another thing, there's probably a million people that said uh, they saw that show. Well, in fact, there was about 350 people in the audience there. It was a very small, intimate crowd because nobody knew what was going on until after the fact. And that was definitely a good way to, to end the 80s with the Rolling Stones and Toad's Place. Thanks for watching. <laughs>